So, what's up everybody? I am back today with a brand new GTA 5 video. And today we are uh, actually taking a look at a mod. I figure out how to install mods. And, um, obviously, um, yeah, I actually did. So today we are taking a look at the 2015 Mustang GT. Um, uh, very, a very nice vehicle so far. Looks awesome on the outside and on the interior it is even better I did not mean to press that key but um, all of the gauges actually work I'll go into the interior you can see that all the gauges work the gauges over there work every once in a while those will work but speedometer gauge well the speedometer works the um, uh, RPMs work and all that but I think this look this car looks awesome and uh, since this is the Mustang it actually replaces the Dominator and I I'm kinda I really like I think this looks a lot better and it yeah I, I just prefer this Mustang this uh, 2015 Mustang GT over the Dominator any day so, um, this actually has working, uh, upgrades that you can put on it, and, uh, you just install those in different files. To install this mod, it's, well, link in the description, you, you go to the readme file, and then you just follow the steps on there. Uh, so, it's pretty easy. So we're gonna go ahead and drop an armor upgrade on this. We're gonna leave the brakes alone so we can drift. Um, you can add window vents, which pretty much... They're just covers, not really window vents. So uh, with the bumpers, we actually have the stock front bumper, which you can see right now. The custom front splint, uh, splitter, which we're definitely adding. Come on, if I can hit the right key. And um, we have the uh, stock rear bumper and the painted rear bumper. I prefer the stock one. It looks better. So um, that's just how what I prefer. We're definitely going with a complete engine upgrade. And with the exhaust, we have the stock exhaust, which has the uh, quad pipes right there, and which uh, drops down to a dual titanium exhaust. Very nice. I prefer that. So with the grill, we have the uh, normal plain old Mustang grill with the Mustang logo, just plain. Then we have the grill with the lights and the Mustang logo. So I'm actually going to go with this, um, just because, I don't know, it, kind of fills up that space um, so we have the stock hood right here which has that big intake on the top and then the carbon hood which we are definitely going with the carbon hood uh, we're not gonna do anything with the horn uh, headlights drop some xenons on there uh, I'm not gonna do anything with the. I, I probably w really shouldn't have done the lights I don't know uh, we're gonna drop a plate that looks better uh, respray so we have the library. Um, so we have first one, which that's supposed to be white. I messed it up, but I think the black looks really good. But the white looked better. Um, so we have a couple to choose from. I know a lot of people may go for this one, but I prefer this one when it was white. I messed it up and uh, messed it up in the trainer. So uh, I'm gonna go with that one. For the roof, we actually have a couple of options. We have the stock roof that we can leave on there, the roof louvers, the carbon roof, and the carbon roof and the louvers. I don't like those louvers on the back window. I don't think they look good. So I'm going to go with the carbon roof. Uh, for the uh, side skirts, we have the stock skirts and the custom skirts. We're going to drop the uh, custom skirts on there. And for the spoiler, we have a ducktail spoiler and a high level spoiler. This high level spoiler, spoiler, this is more like a formula drift spoiler. spoiler. So, yeah. Uh, and I'm going to go ahead and drop the ducktail spoiler on here just because I think it looks better. Uh, suspension, we're obviously going to drop this down to the uh, competition just because it looks better with a lowered stance. Obviously, we're going to build the transmission, race transmission, turbo, drop the turbo in there. Okay, so with wheels. Now, the thing with GTA is you have to have a 
like wheels that absolutely look perfect on the car because otherwise if you mess up it could absolutely look terrible so um, I'm kind of leaning towards a carbonic Z I might I'm gonna put the chromatic Z on there and we're gonna paint these um, let's put something else oh red doesn't look bad We're actually going to go all out and put red on there. Uh, wheel accessories, custom tires because they look better, and I'm going to leave bulletproof tires off. Uh, windows, uh, we're actually going to leave it. And yeah, that's pretty much it. So let's get this out of the garage. And um, let me go ahead and change the time. Right to noon. This looks awesome. This car is awesome. Um, I did not mean to select that. So, I really think this is awesome at drifting. Except, I'm not the greatest at drifting in GTA 5, so... Um, this car is amazing at drifting. Oh, look, a dog. Oh, a dog chasing a woman. <laughs> oh jeez, I've never seen that in GTA. <laughs> oh, that is hilarious. So, um, let's take it up here. So, I really like this. I mean, I haven't tried handling mods yet, but I'm sure this car might be a little bit better if you really want a dedicated uh, drift car. I don't have a handling mod installed. I'm sure I'd probably be better at drifting if you wanted that extreme angle uh, that some drift cars can get. Um, I really think I really think it'd be nice to have a handling mod. I just haven't tried them yet so I mean if you really want to drift then yeah I'd install it but if you kind of just want to do this what we're kind of doing right now pooning around the city and just kind of doing all this stuff. Um, I actually did not mean to come in here. I wasn't really thinking. Um, but I think this car performs really good without a handling mod. If I was actually better, this car would be better. <laughs> um, so, whoa! Coil. Is that a coil? I think it is. Well, uh, nothing to see here. Stupid moped. Um, okay. Go ahead and drift her. Ah, no! No, that... No. That yield sign was never there. Oh, oh, gr oh, great. Um, so we're actually gonna go ahead and take this up to a mountain spot. Hmm. Where should we go? Let's actually take this car about to down here. Um, let's go ahead and teleport. Teleport to a waypoint. Oh, uh, great, what's going on? Uh, perfect. Um, now let's go ahead and fix this car. Clean and fix the car. Awesome. Um, yeah, this should be a good road. So, I kind of want to do some more drifting with... The oh, jeez. Oh, uh, great. Um... So, that was a pretty bad drift. Uh huh. I mean, it'll kick the back end around, but um, I'm sure if I was better, this car would be absolutely awesome at drifting. Um, but, as I said, I'm not very good at. Oh, that's solid. I'm not very good at drifting, so. Uh, well, at least drifting in GTA 5. When we get to, like, Forza Horizon, yeah, I'm, I'll drift around here all day. But, um, uh, in GTA V, in, with the stock handling, it, it's alright. I mean, it's really good compared to most vehicles, but 
a muscle car isn't really stock muscle cars aren't really made for this kind of stuff but um, I, I really think this is a very nice car I'm actually gonna go ahead and drive around a little bit um, with uh, in this kind of view but I, I really like driving in first-person view and let's see if I can actually drift and that was all right I guess Whoa, -ho, that's a light and a car. Um, um, let's see if we can whip it around this. Oh, nope, another car. Whoa, just barely missed that wall. Well, this has absolutely gone terrible. Um, so I pretty much get. Oh, yeah, there goes the DMC Aventador. Um, that was the very first mod I installed. It, absolute awesome mod can't believe I didn't think of making a video on it but my final opinion on this vehicle oh move out of that mess move out of the way dear I know what I'm having for dinner yep gotta get my tags and tag that thing um oh geez didn't mean to launch but uh, my final opinion on this vehicle is I absolutely love this vehicle I really love I really like the Ford American muscle cars so I, I really like American cars and I really really like Ford cars so this is an awesome combination and I feel like if there were to be a real vehicle in this game this is what it would look like get out of the way rabbits um but I really think this is a very good mod and the mod creator did a absolute awesome job at making this. It looks amazing. Um, let's actually go ahead and open the hood. Um, I haven't checked, but I kind of want to see how much detail was actually put into making um, uh, detail in the engine. Like, see how much detail is actually put into it. Okay, so looks pretty good so far. Yep, classic Mustang logo. Oh, Ford Racing logo too, nice. Um, it, it's really well detailed. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, that looks amazing. See, we got the hood latch. Wow. Jeez. Um, but... I really think this is a very nice mod and I think that if you really want a very nice mod that this is the absolute perfect mod for you um, wow the trunks even nice nicely textured um but I really think this is a very good mod and I really think you guys should check it out so uh, go ahead and go down to the description below and download it for yourself. I actually just popped the tire on this vehicle. But um, uh, I really think this is a very well made mod, as I've said multiple times in this video. But uh, once again, go ahead and go download it in the description below if you want it for yourself. And while you're down there, go ahead and drop a like and a comment and uh, subscribe if you are new to the channel. So uh, yeah, thank you guys for watching and I will talk to y'all later.